Wrestling fans, welcome to a special segment here on the BostonWrestling.com Super Site. Um, it's not news to the majority of wrestling fans in the world right now that former WWE veteran Luna Vachon passed away this past Friday. Um, again, another young tragic death in the world of wrestling. Luna was a friend to many within the MWF and within the wrestling universe. Um, when she was at the Cauliflower Alley Club last year, when she was honored with an award, she was, we actually spoke with her about taking part in a WrestleMania 9 roundtable DVD discussion like we did with the uh, original WrestleMania 1 uh, back in 1985 when we had the Iron Cheek, Paul Orndorff, and Bob Orton here at MWF Studios. And we were looking forward to having Luna be a part of what we were doing. Uh, but in reality now, that's small potatoes compared to the big picture. Luna is, if you read one of our recent e-newsletters, we posted her post office address to try and help raise money for her is even more astonishing is that her home actually burned down a few weeks ago. Um, she was a woman that had some issues in life, um, but she was a woman that loved this business, gave to this business. Um, at our event, September 18th, the Big Bang Birthday Bash, one thing we were planning on doing was actually holding an auction of an autographed poster from Soul Survivor to try and raise some money to help out Luna in her endeavor to rebuild her home as she lost just about everything. Um, and then you wake up on a Friday morning to find out that Dunk the Clown, Matt Bourne's father, tough Tony Bourne, had passed away. Um, and then a few hours later than that, headed into MWF Studios for an afternoon of work. My cell phone started buzzing, text message after text message, that Luna had passed away. And at the same time, we, were like, we just said we were going to do an auction to try and help raise money for her. Um, at this point, you know, little is known about her passing. If there is some kind of a fund or a foundation set up to try and help with her funeral expenses or, um, you know, maybe end of life type expenses, we will do some kind of an auction or a raffle at the event September 18th. But I think one thing that would be nice is one of the last public appearances that Luna made was her accepting her Cauliflower Alley Club Award. So right now, let's go back in time to Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. April of 2009, it was the 44th Cauliflower Alley Club reunion as Luna receives her award. Thank you very much. 